Hey folks, uh, welcome to your Friday market wrap up. My name is Matthew Buckley. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Wealth Creation Investing or WCI and holy earnings Batman. So Google had the, the premature release yesterday, so to speak, and that was abysmal. Uh, Chipotle. Let, let's get right to Chipotle right now because I've been trading weekly options on Chipotle uh, in our wealth creation with options portfolio and our Top Gun options portfolio and I got absolutely shellacked. Um, so, you know, for everybody who's like, wow, uh, you, you know, your, your portfolios are doing great. Guess what, folks? Took one amazingly on the chin today. Took the max loss. Uh, and that's an absolute failure on my part. Down 70% uh, this trade, uh, just a, a, an outside of regular standard deviation move. The stock's down 15%. It's correcting off the lows right now, and I might actually uh, step in underneath this right here to see if I can get a, a quick daily trade out of it, uh, maybe the 245s, 240s. But um, just absolute uh, train wreck. And for a company to miss that badly and uh, forecast down the road uh, what they forecasted and not uh, pre-announce is just, it's almost criminal. <laughs> if, if I were a, a hedge fund that had a ton of Chipotle positions, um, I'd be uh, I, I'd, I'd be a little upset right now. And I'm obviously very upset at, uh, uh, at, uh, at not doing so well with Chipotle. Risk management, though, only had $5 wide strikes, right? It was an iron condor. Uh, we obviously lost on the short strike. And, uh, you know, another reason we don't use $10 wide strikes uh, at Top Gun Options or Wealth Creation uh, with options. So absolute failure out of me on Chipotle earnings and just did not see it coming and would have expected uh, a pre-warning. So that's bad. Google, same type of thing. That's bad. So we, we've been talking in our live trade briefs uh, about Q3 and companies doing the standard under promise and over deliver. And we've seen, you know, we're probably in a third quarter of earnings here, of third quarter earnings, and, uh, you know, approaching the fourth quarter. And it looked like it was going to be one of those under promise and over deliver. You know, Wall Street races out to lower expectations and they turn around and beat expectations. Instead of horrendous, they get horrible and the stock goes up, right? Well, now we're starting to see some cracks in, uh, you know, what's going on. Google, uh, obviously, huge pullback. It's coming back today, uh, but, you know, the Chipotle's and, and a bunch of other folks who came out with earnings yesterday that surprised to the downside doesn't bode well. And I'm, our, I'm automatically going to take my eyes forward. You know, I, I, gotta, I have to debrief uh, my Chipotle mistake and, um, and, and learn from it and move forward. But here's what I'm already looking towards is Q4. If Q3 is going to third and fourth quarter kind of uh, end up being a train wreck, What's Q4 going to do? I think we, we are in for a tough time on Q4. So that's why, you know, today, you know, market's down 102. The spoos are down 9, uh, almost 10 points. The only real positions that are in the green today, you know, uh, some Apple stuff like that, are my hedges. I have a bear call spread on SPX. I have a SDS, very bullish, double vertical spread out to January uh, saying, hey, out to January, I have the uh, Jan 30, I'll show you this. It's a bearish uh, double vertical that I took in a credit to do out to January of 2013, the 51.43 and the 55.57. Um, and let me break this one down for you. This is a huge hedge. Uh, on the fiscal cliff, on the election, and here's the risk to reward, 1 to 1.3. There's a 34% probability of losing the max money, uh, you know, if the SDS goes ripping through 51, world peace breaks out, and I'm a Den Jod, Netanyahu, and everybody starts dancing together, um, or a hedge if the SDS spikes, about four bucks, maybe the three bucks over where it is right now, the max gain is about 7,900 bucks. So this is a, a nice hedge in our portfolio. And this is what on days like today we like to see. Our VXX positions, you know, our oil hedges, our uh, SDS hedges, our SPX hedges, all looking pretty good. Okay, so um, swing and a miss out of me on Chipotle and apparently on a lot of people as well. Uh, but I'm going to fix those things today. The rest of the day, I think we're going to, we're going to trade sideways a little bit, uh, but always beware on, on a down day expiration as you go into the close and you might see some massive selling as uh, traders get out of positions. But uh, existing home sales, <clears throat> a little bit of a, a bright light, not too much. 4.83 revised uh, up.
last time they were looking for 0.73 and kind of let's just call it, it came in line it wasn't bad but it came in line but it doesn't matter the market's really not uh, looking at that they're looking at Chipotle they're looking at Google and unfortunately um, it, we're, we're seeing a lot of sympathy uh, folks getting caught up in the uh, in the Google um, a frag pattern, fragmentation pattern, so to speak. For example, Apple. We have a weekly iron condor on Apple that was doing great. It was up about two grand into yesterday, and we needed to stay above 625, and it's flirting with potential pin risk at 625. So we're probably gonna. I just sent out a video to uh, and an SMS alert to uh, all our traders about what I'm doing with uh, Apple. I'm gonna monitor it in the model portfolio because I can the rest of the day. But we're probably gonna eject out of this and keep the profit we've uh, we've already made. Okay. So uh, interesting day. I'm going to uh, and and you know obviously it's the anniversary of the crash about 25 years ago today, uh, which is a little creepy. So you know the market's kind of taking that into account a little as well. Um, all right, I'm probably going to try and step in front of a Chipotle trade here. I think I'm not going to be uh, catching a falling knife, and I might be able to uh, uh, to take some of the sting out of uh, the, the the loss I suffered in the model portfolio today. Okay, can't win them all, folks. If you're trading somewhere where uh, all they talk about is winners, 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 run as fast as you can, okay? At Wealth Creation with Options, at Topkin Options, I'll be the first one to admit uh, when we swing and a miss and the reasons behind it. And I'm going to debrief with our traders during our live trading uh, next week to, uh, uh, to to take the hit on it and, and what I'm learning from it, okay? That's the pronoun you need to hear when you're trading with anybody's I. I made a mistake, um, and you don't pass it off on anything else. Okay? Happy hunting. Make sure you head. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you on uh, Monday with our Monday Market Outlook.